Hey there, my name is Kelly Dell with Off The Beaded Path. So if you tuned in yesterday to my live video, I showed you how to make these small Christmas trees using the three hole navette beads. I know a lot of people either love the live format or they hate the live format. So you're getting the best of both worlds. Yesterday's I did was live and I showed you how to make those small trees. Today we are doing the large trees in a normal video format. So just like yesterday, you're gonna need a lot of the same materials. You are gonna need 21 three hole navette beads, one bronze three hole navette bead. You are gonna need two grams of a size 11 seed bead. It does not matter if it's my Yuki or Toho. You are gonna need about 18 to 20 of your three millimeter bicones. You're gonna need five size eight seed beads that are either in a color close to your navette beads or they are a neutral color. You're gonna need three yards of a either six pound fire line or your favorite beading thread. Now, honestly, I love to use the green uh, wildfire for this project, but if you do not have the green, I would suggest um, if you're doing one of the lighter color greens, use the white fire line or the, what they call the crystal or a white wildfire. If you are going to do the, um, the other color sample, which is like this full vitriol color, uh, you'll want to use the dark fire line or a dark thread. You're also going to need a size 12 beading needle. Now, we sold a ton of navettes over the weekend, and then y'all blew up the website yesterday um, with orders for the kits. So, we have set them as a pre-order on the website, so that way, as soon as we sold out, we put them for a pre-order, so I have more beads and everything that you need on order. Hopefully, it will be here super quick, and as soon as it comes in, we'll get your kits made and get those mailed out. So, if you want a kit, make sure to pre-order it if it is out of stock. All right, so guys, let's get our stuff together and get started. So before we get started, this is the sample of what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. It's the larger size tree. You can see it looks great with embellishments or without embellishments like these are here. So you can see the color difference or the, well, the color difference, but also the size difference between the small one I showed you yesterday and the large one I'm gonna show you how to do today. So just so you can kind of see the difference the large tree without the loop is right at three inches, all right? Or if you need it in centimeters, we are gonna be right at seven and a half centimeters here. The smaller tree in centimeter sizes is right at almost six, and in inches, we have it at right a little over two inches. So that'll give you an idea of the sizing on these with the, the big and the small. Now, as far as colors, just like we talked about yesterday, they don't make a lot of colors in these yet. This one is the Jet Suede Gold, but you see it does have a really pretty green tint to it. This is the color they call cardamom cardamom however you say it and then this is the color the large of the small that i did yesterday this is the jet full vitriol so you can see i did not do any embellishments on this one so you could see with embellishments and without embellishments so today i'm actually going to be using the suede gold so this will be the color sample that i do in our video today to get started today, I have my three yards of thread onto my needle, and you can see I'm using the green wildfire. So I'm going to thread on one size eight seed bead. It does not matter if it's my Yuki or Toho, either one will work. And I'm going to leave just a short tail. I believe the instructions say a four inch tail. And you're going to go back up through the same bead again so that this seed bead becomes your stop bead. Right, so tail, seed bead, working thread. 
Now in the pattern, if you purchase the pattern or you get a kit, the kit calls or the pattern calls the navettes like these green navettes or GNs. Um, it calls the bronze a BN or a bronze navette. So I'm going to thread on one green navette, one eight, one green navette, and you can see I'm doing the outer holes. We are not threading through the center holes yet. So if I bring these down here, just so I can see, I've got a green navette, an eight, a green navette, an eight, a green navette, a bronze navette. So again, I want to do one of the outer holes, because remember, our navettes have three holes. We want a green navette, an 8-0, a green navette, an 8-0, a green navette, and then three size 11 seed beads. So if you get a kit or you purchase the pattern and you follow along with it, I'm actually going to go ahead and kind of hold everything like is in the pattern so that way if you want to get it you'll know exactly what we're doing so you can see here this we've let it drop all the way down to the stop bead which will be pulled off after a while so right now i have a green navette an eight a green navette an eight a green navette bronze navette green navette eight green navette eight green navette and three 11s okay so you want them to lay exactly like i have here in the picture so now working in the other direction so we're going to be working back and forth back and forth back and forth so working in the other direction i'm going to go through the middle holes of these six green navettes. So this is why it's so important that you leave that brown navette down pointed downward because we don't want it to be up here. So I go through the middle holes of all six. I'm going to hold them in place as I pull the thread. Now, if you pull it super tight, they're gonna flare out like this. You don't want them to do that. You just wanna pull the beads enough to get that thread through. So just don't pull them super tight. We're gonna thread on three 11s and then skipping the stop bead. So I'm gonna skip this bead here. I'm gonna go through the bottom line of beads again. So again, I'm going to kind of skip this bead and I'm gonna take my needle and go straight through this bottom line of beads here. And I'm just going straight through. I'm gonna put my fingers here and I'm gonna grab a hold of that and pull the needle through so that this should be what we have so far. And again, I did not go through the stop bead. The stop bead's still just kind of hanging out here. I'm gonna continue through the three 11s and then straight through this line of beads here. So I'm gonna turn it around just so it's easier to get through. So I'm gonna go through the three 11s and then through my line of beads. And again, we're going through the middle holes. Okay, now we're ready to do what we call a step up in the pattern. So I'm gonna thread on three 11s. And my thread is coming out of this middle hole of this end navette right here. So working in the other direction, I'm gonna go through the top hole of the navette that my thread is coming out of. So I'm gonna go through this top open hole. And again, be careful with it because 
if you don't pull the direct the thread in the direction that it's going or coming out of the bead it's all going to pull apart and it's not going to look great so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pick up a navette as you pick up your navettes look at the holes you can see if the holes are open or not because i can see my mat underneath there check your holes and make sure the holes aren't plugged up and I'm going to pick up a navette and I'm going to go through the top hole of the next navette. So it, if I was doing this not for a video, I would probably just pick this up like this. And I'll just go ahead and do it just because it's easiest. Um, but we're just going to work down the row. And each time you pick it up, just check the holes. Make sure they're good to go. And then you're going to go through the open hole of the next navette bead. And I'm going to do this all the way down my row. Just pick up and go through. I have to shorten that little tail thread there. There we go. All right. All right, so one more bead to add here. So that now we've made our next row of our tree and you can see what that looks like. So you can see we have three elevens here. We have three here and here. So now we're gonna have to add another set of elevens. So we pick up three elevens and we take the needle and we're coming out of the top hole of this end navette. So I'm going to come right below it and I'm going to go to the middle hole of the same navette and I'm going to go straight through those beads. So just work your needle straight through the center holes of those beads. So it looks just like this. And pull the, the needle through. So this is what you've got so far. I'm going to continue on to do kind of like a step up. I'm going to go through the three elevens here and then straight through this line of 11 green navettes. So the reason I say 11 is because we're going to be going through the bottom, the top, the, or I'm sorry, the top hole, the bottom hole, the top hole, the bottom hole, the top hole, the bottom hole. So we're going straight through to get to that other side. So go through three elevens. And then straight through this line. If you can't get all the way through, it's okay. You can go through a few of them. Like I'm going to have to stop right here and kind of pull through that. And then I'm gonna go through the last few here so that I'm coming out all the way out here to the end. So after you go through all those beads, this is what your piece should look like. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull the stop bead off of this tail thread. I'm gonna thread a new needle onto this short piece of thread and I'm gonna get rid of the tail thread. So right where I'm coming out, I'm gonna take my needle and go under the thread between these beads and then make a little half hitch knot. And then I'm gonna come up through these three 11s. I'm going to do a little half hitch knot here. And then I'm gonna run this needle through the middle holes of these navettes and pull that through and then I'm going to cut the thread just like that. So that way it gets rid of that tail thread and I don't have to fight with it the whole entire time. You can pretty much do that anytime after those first couple of rows to make it look really nice. So now we are going to pick up three elevens.
and I'm gonna go through the middle hole of this row of navettes. So I'm doing a little bit of a step up. So I picked up the 11s and I'm gonna go through the middle holes of these five navette beads here. Well, I say I am. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Straight through that line of beads. And again, I'm just gonna put my finger here and I'm gonna pull, pull the thread all the way through so that now I have beads that are covering up this part. I'm gonna thread on three 11s. I'm coming out right here. So I've got to come so that it's symmetrical. I've got to come down here and I'm gonna go through this whole row of beads again. So my three 11s and I'm just gonna zigzag, work my way to get to the other side. And again, if you can't get through all of them at one time, that's all right. Go through what you can get through and then just continue on. That's what I love about the little tree. Pretty much every row you can get the needle all the way through and not have to stop. So at the end of this step, this is what you should have. So now we've got to do a little bit of a step up again. So we have to go through the three 11s and then straight through the middle holes of these navettes. So through the three 11s and then through that line of beads. I'm gonna pick up three 11s and working back the other direction, I'm gonna go through the top hole of the navette that my thread's coming out of. So I'm gonna go just like this. And then this is where we're gonna put another row of navettes in. So we pick up a navette and go through the top hole of the next navette. Okay, this poor Navette is a bowling pin rather than a Navette, so I don't want to use that one. And I'm going to go through the open hole of the next Navette. I'm just going to work down the row, popping those Navettes in, checking the holes. Nothing is worse than getting a row up, getting a row in, putting your little size 11 seed beads in, and then getting to the top row and realizing that the hole is plugged up. So just save yourself some time and grief and go ahead and check those holes. So at the end of this row, this is what we've got. I pick up three 11s, and again, I'm coming out of this hole here and I've got to come down to add 11s here. So I'm gonna come through the middle holes of this row of beads. And our tree is taking shape. So I'm gonna go through these three 11s and then straight through this line of navettes. So one, two, and three, and then straight through. The reason that we do it this way is if you did my navette, um, I did a couple of navette bracelets earlier in the year, and it's just a lot easier to do it this way so that you don't see excess thread on the outsides of your navettes and it kind of reinforces everything and pulls everything together. So that's why we have to kind of have to go in the directions that we go on this tree. So now I'm gonna pick up three 11s. Again, we're gonna arch some 11s here. So I've got my 11s and I'm gonna go through the middle holes of this next row of navettes. So if I turn it like this, I can see that row and it looks just like this. 
Now, I'm sure you've already guessed it, but I'm gonna pick up three more 11s, and I'm gonna come down here and go through this line of beads here. So at this stage in the game, this is what my piece will look like. And I'm ready for the next step. So we have to do, again, a little bit of a step up. So we go through three 11s and then straight through these middle holes of this row of beads. And now we're ready to step up to add a new row. I'm gonna pick up three 11s, and the same navette that I'm coming out of, I'm gonna go through the top open hole of that navette. I'm ready for more navette beads here. So I'm gonna pick up a navette and go through one. Pick up a navette and go through, and then pick up a navette, and go through. I've gotta pick up three 11s, and we're going from this hole down to here so that it, it's symmetrical, so I'm gonna go straight through this line of beads I was fixing to say, either my needle is crooked or the hole in that bead's a little bit crooked because it's hard to go straight through it. We're ready to do a little step up, so I'm gonna go through these three beads here and then straight through that line. I think it's my needle. I think I've got my needle crooked. Been using this for a couple of days, so it's time probably to straighten it out or use a new one. I'm gonna pick up three 11s and go through these middle holes of our three beads. and then three 11s and come through this line of beads again. It's almost like we're doing a modified right angle weave just with a whole lot of beads at one time. To step up, I'm gonna go through the three 11s and then straight through that line of three beads in the middle holes And once we do this, we're ready for a step up for a new row. I'm gonna pick up three 11s and go through the top hole of the navette that I'm coming out of, working back the other direction. And now I'm ready for navette. So I pick up one, go through one, pick up one, Go through one. We're ready to add our 11s here so that it's symmetrical. So I'm gonna pick up three 11s and I'm gonna come through the middle holes of these three navettes. Step up by going through the three 11s and our line of navettes. Three 
thread on three elevens and we're gonna go through our two navettes. As you can see, each row we are decreasing our navettes. It's getting a little quicker to do your rows. Three elevens and I'm gonna come through this straight line here. Go through three elevens and then your middle two navettes. Thread on three elevens. We're gonna go through the top pole of the navette that we're exiting in the opposite direction. And finally, we are gonna put on one navette and go through the open hole of that next navette so that we have the shape. Three elevens. And remember, it's gotta be symmetrical, so I've gotta come down and go through the middle holes. Step up by going through the three elevens and then our straight line of holes here. three elevens, and I'm gonna go through the middle hole of this single navette. Three elevens, and I'm gonna come down and straight through. I'm gonna step up through three elevens in the middle hole. Pick up three elevens, and we're gonna go back through the top hole of this same single navette. Three elevens and I'm gonna come down and through this single hole. Step up through three elevens, and now you should be at the top of your tree. We're gonna pick up four elevens. So we're off of the three, we're going to four. <laughs> I'm gonna jump over to this other side and I'm gonna go through a few of the 11s here on this side so that that completes the outline shape. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my needle and I'm gonna go straight through the 11s on this side, go through this bottom row of beads and then straight up through this side. As you work, if you pull the thread really tight, you are gonna curve the piece to one side and you're gonna bunch it up and it's not gonna look good. So as you pull through, only pull through enough to pull the thread through. We basically are just trying to connect all these sets of three together so that it will lay better and it will look better. So just make sure that as you work, you don't pull it tight you can kind of tell if you're pulling it tight if this top bead goes to one side. If it starts pulling to one side, you know you're pulling too tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go through all these beads so that I come out of the top center to 11s here at the very top of my tree. Now that I've gone all the way around and I'm coming out of these top center beads, I'm gonna make my bell. This can be a pendant. This can be uh, whatever you want it to be. I think it would be really great as a Christmas ornament on a Christmas tree. So it's really whatever you want to do. 
Uh, I think six beads, six size 11 seed beads are gonna work the best for no matter what it's gonna be made into. So I picked up those six beads and I'm gonna go back through the same two beads that I'm coming out of to make the circle. And when I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reinforce this circle a couple of times. Because if this is gonna be a pendant or it's gonna be an ornament or whatever you want it to be, you want it to be able to be sturdy and not loose on this top loop. So I'm gonna go through it. I added the beads and I'm gonna reinforce it twice because more than that, I'm gonna have a hard time getting through these bottom two beads here. Now comes the fun part. And this is the part that's really you and your design and what you want to do. Each of the ones I've done is a little bit different because you can really have a good time however you add these little swags. And like I said, you don't even have to add any little swags if you don't want to. You can use different size beads. Like I put little bicons on here to make them look like little Christmas lights, but you can do whatever you want. Or like I said, it looks really cool just the way it is. So I'm gonna kind of guide you through the first two little swags, and then you can really play and do whatever you want to. I always start the swags up here exactly where I've come out of these two beads. So to start, I'm gonna thread on two 11s, a crystal. Now, if you got a kit, I think you got four or five different colors. I think it's five. Yeah, uh, five. And so I just randomly pick them up. I don't do any sort of pattern. So it's completely up to you, but I've got two 11s, a three millimeter bicone and an 11. And for the first little swag, I'm gonna count four beads over on this right side. So one, two, three, and four. And I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna come down through just that fourth bead. So when you pull, you see it kind of comes like this. For the next little swag, I may pick up three 11s, a crystal, and an 11. And what I do is I just kind of lay it across the piece to see kind of how, how far of a diagonal I want it to lay or what I want to do. So I'm gonna shoot for seven on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna put on uh, the beads and just see. And if it's too far down, then I can take it, pull it off and fix it. It's completely up to you. And nope, that looks like that's gonna be a pretty good little swag there. So at this point, you really just have fun. This next swag, I might do three, a crystal, three, a crystal, and as I do it, I let the beads kind of drop down and I keep putting them along the piece to kind of see how far I want them apart. If you want to, you can also leave a lot of extra room or like play like this in it. The only issue, if you do this, these little loops can get caught on things and it can do more damage than good. So I actually think I'm gonna keep it like this and I'm just gonna kind of hold it here to the side and go through the bead closest on the side where it's kind of laying at. And this is how we add the swag, just back and forth, back and forth, adding beads and crystals until we get all the way to the bottom. I have zigzagged along down through my tree until I'm coming out down here at the bottom. I've went through this very last bead down here in this corner and now I'm ready to get rid of this tail thread. So I'm gonna thread through a navette. I'm gonna make a half hitch knot. Then I'm gonna go through an eight and a navette. I'm gonna do a half hitch knot and go through the rest of the beads on the row. Now, if you wanted to, like if this is gonna be a Christmas ornament, you could definitely 
switch around if you had plenty of crystals and seed beads you can switch around and you can do swags on the back as well and you could even do them in a totally different color so that way it's a reversible piece and that's an option too but as you can see each of the little trees you do will be different none of them will be the same just like a, a tree an actual tree so again you can see the different color schemes of the trees and the difference between the large trees and the small trees. So guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make these large trees today. Remember, you can go back to yesterday's video to see the small trees and how they are done. Now, if you get a kit from us at offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com, it's going to have the pattern for the large tree and the small tree in it, and it's going to be enough beads in the kit to either make the large tree or the small tree. All right, so you get an option in your kit, a large or a small, but you get both patterns so that you have both of those just in case. We also have the written patterns for sale on our website in a digital form and in a printed form. And again, you can find both of those at offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com. The patterns are gonna be under the pendant category under the ornament category and i will put them under the holiday category on the website and again that is off the beaded path thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time bye bye mm -hmm.